We've got 55 wheat slots to fill. I don't think this one box is going to get us any closer. So, let's do two. Hello, and welcome back to TL Treasures. We've got penny box number 10 and 11 here to hunt in this series. We're going to go ahead, slide this one back. We usually do show our Canadians this time. I'm not going to bother showing them since we're doing two boxes. I'll show them at the end unless I happen to come across some King George's or anything that looks really cool. Other than that, we'll be looking for our usual wheats, trying to fill the slots in the books. Maybe we'll find some cool varieties. Maybe get lucky and find an Indian head scent. Who knows? Those look well circulated. I don't see any enders jumping out at me. But that doesn't make a difference. It's what's inside that counts. So, go ahead and give a thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Now, with all that being said, let's get on rolling. Roll number one, and we've already got our first find. We got a 1956 Denver. Roll number three, and we've got a pretty beat up 2009 Philadelphia Lincoln Professional Life. Roll number five, and we got our second weed of the box. We've got a 1958, Philadelphia. Roll number eight, and we've got a 1951, Philadelphia. Still on roll eight, and we've got a King George. 1952. We'll take it. Roll 15, and we found a wheat. 1952, Denver. Roll 17, we've got another wheat find. We've got a 1956, Denver. Still on roll 17, we've got another reverse facer. We've got a 1940, Philadelphia. Roll 26, we've come across the 1941, Philadelphia. Roll 31, and we've got a 1956 Philadelphia. Roll 32, and we found a 1952 Denver. Also on roll 32, we've come across the 1957 Denver. Roll 38, and we have another Lincoln Bicentennial. This one being the formative years. Now I've already gone ahead, tossed it under the scope, checked if there was any doubling on that thumb. Didn't see nothing. We'll set it aside. Still on roll 38, and we've got a 1958, Philadelphia. Still on roll 38, and we've got a young head. 1953. Rule 42 is going to give us another 2009 Bicentennial. This one being the birth year. Rule 47, and we've got a 2009 Denver Bicentennial. Formative years. I've already checked for the double thumb. Nothing there. Let's keep on rolling. Alright, well that's the end of our first box. It wasn't all that exciting. We ended up with 25 Canadians and only 11 Wheats. So I'm glad we're doing a two box hunt. So let's go ahead. We'll crack the top open on this. See if we got any enders. Hopefully this one does better. We really need those wheats and we really need those early ones. I don't see any enders. Hopefully there's some good stuff inside. Let's get on rolling. Roll 53 and we've got our first wheat of box number two. We've got a 1954. Roll 54. We've got a 1955. Denver. Roll 57 is going to give us a King George. We've got 1946. Roll 59. We've got a 1955. Denver. Roll 61. It's going to give us a 1958 Denver. Roll 62 is going to give us another 2009 Professional Life. 
Rule 68 is going to give us another professional life. 2009, Philadelphia. Rule 69 is going to give us a 1948. Also on Rule 69, we've got a 1945 Philly. We'll take it. Rule 81, and we've got a 1940 Philadelphia. Rule 84 has given us a 1948 Philadelphia. Also on Rule 84, we've got a 1944 Philadelphia. Looks like a little rot in his eye, but we'll take it. Rule 85, we have another 2009 Lincoln Bicentennial. This one being the formative years. So we can go ahead, pop that under, see if we got that doubling on the thumb. And nope, that looks pretty normal. We'll set it aside and we'll keep on rolling. Still on roll 85. We've got another 1948. Roll 89, we have another 2009 Bicentennial. This one being the birth year. It's got a little bit of damage on it. It's all right, we'll still set it aside. And we'll keep on rolling. Roll 90. And we've got a 1948 Philadelphia. Still on roll 90 and we've got a 1953 Philadelphia. 10 rolls to go. Let's hope we can find something a little older. Roll number 91, and we've got ourselves an ender. Looks like it's 1918, so I'm gonna go ahead, crack this open, lay it out. Maybe there's some friends inside. All right, so here we are on roll 91 with our ender, and it is a 1918 wheat. That's definitely gonna be our oldest find out of these two boxes. Let's try to go through this and see if there's anything else jumping out Nineteen fifty one Canadian and no frienders. That's all right. Got a few more rolls to go. I don't think we're gonna beat 90, 1918, but we'll find out. Roll ninety five is gonna give us a nineteen fifty five Philadelphia. Roll ninety seven. We've got a nineteen fifty one Denver. Roll ninety nine. We've got a 1956 Philadelphia. We'll set that aside and keep on rolling. All right, we're back and that's the end of our hunt. Do a quick little recap for you. We got our oldest find of the box, which was a 1918. We only found one that old. Then we got our 1940s. We had nine in total. And for our 1950s, we had 17. We also ended up with eight from 1959. I just set those aside because they're still 50s even though they're not wheats. Our Lincoln Bicentennials, we ended up with 12 different coins. Now our biggest finds were all of the Canadians. Every form we found was Canadian. We had 49 in total, two of those being King George. So that's not too bad. We also got a couple of little stacks here. Might be possible upgrades, might not. We'll get the books out, we'll compare, see if we have any fillers, see what we got for upgrades. We'll check that out momentarily, and we'll be right back. All right, so after we got the books out, compared, went through, once again, I had no fillers. Even with that 1918, I knew that wasn't gonna go in because I just found one of those last week, and I already had one even before I ended up doing that. We do have two upgrades we're gonna do. We'll upgrade the 1965. That's quite a significant upgrade. It's a lot better condition than what we previously had. And the 1962 Denver, it's more of a red brown than the brown that's just sitting in there. So we're gonna go ahead and upgrade that. There was a few other ones that I could have swapped out, but it really wasn't worth it to pull when they were just slightly better. So I'm gonna leave those alone. We also got a couple of new Canadian books that we're gonna break out. 
And we'll check if we have any fillers or upgrades on that. Here we are with our two Canadian books that I picked up last week. I previously went ahead, filled slots with the Canadians that I have found in the past. Still got some open slots here, so let's go ahead and see what we got. We got a filler for that 1952, a filler for 1951. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this 1976, as well as an upgrade on the 1996, an upgrade on the 2004, and then we got a couple more fillers over here, the 2009 zinc and the 2010 zinc. These Canadian books actually seem kind of unique. It was fun doing some research, finding all the varieties that they have. Got to get a little more into it, do a little more research, and we'll go from there. But it was pretty fun to go through everything. So if you like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you next time.